It comes as the uh, former private equity executive loses his lead in the race to take on President Obama in November's election, with voters rather skeptical about his financial affairs. The figures reveal that in 2010 he earned $21.7 million from his investments and paid about $3 million in tax, did donate about the same to charity, which helped lower his effective tax rate to 14%. Well, that's well below the 35% rate in the United States for top earners. Comparing to his main rival, Newt Gingrich paid almost $1 million in income tax, which works out to be uh, a rate of 31% of his total income. And speaking in a television debate before the figures were released, Mr Romney brushed aside concerns that voters might punish him if they think he's not been paying a, a fair rate of tax. You'll see my income, how much taxes I paid, how much I paid to charity. Uh, you'll see how complicated taxes can be. Um, but, uh, but I pay all the taxes that are legally required and not a dollar more. I don't think you want someone as the candidate for president who pays more taxes than he owes. So I'll, uh, I'll point out that that's the case. And uh, will there be discussion? Sure. Will it be an article? Yeah. But is it uh, entirely uh, legal and fair? Absolutely. I'm proud of the fact that I pay a lot of taxes. Let's talk to American journalist and commentator Beth Gardner joins us from central London. Good to talk to you, Beth. I mean, in these have and have not times, it's a bit of a liability, isn't it, for Mitt Romney to A, earn so much money and B, pay so little tax on it? <laughs> Well, it's interesting, you know, this really is not the kind of um, discussion that you would expect to be going on in a Republican primary. This is not generally a party that has a problem with wealth and wealthy people. Um, I think a big part of Romney's problem here has been over the last couple of weeks that he's been so reluctant to release the returns. It's really made it look as if he's had something to hide. Um, certainly the, the a massive amount of wealth that he has, I think he's estimated to be worth something like a quarter of a billion dollars, makes him seem very remote from the concerns of ordinary Americans, both Republican voters and, and the general electorate. Um, I think it's also interesting, I don't know if the low tax rate is going to be held against him so much by the voters. He hasn't done anything illegal. Um, but I think it is opening Americans' eyes to um, some of the details of the ways that our tax system is set up that have not necessarily been widely known. And it certainly um, sort of taps into and dovetails with the narrative uh, that we've been hearing over the last six months or so from the Occupy Wall Street movement and the discussion about inequality uh, that that has sparked in the U.S. I don't think a lot of people were really aware that uh, very wealthy individuals paid such low taxes. Um, the reason that Romney uh, pays such a low tax, uh, Gingrich paid 30 odd percent uh, because most of his money from last year was earned income. Uh, Romney, like many wealthy people, uh, gets a lot of his income from interest and other earnings on investment. It's taxed as, at cap as capital gains, which is only 15 percent. Um, and that's a, a rate that's been lowered significantly well, over the last couple of decades between, the, between Bush and Clinton. Um, the other thing that's been quite controversial is a, a sort of special uh, tax rate for private equity uh, managers, which of which Romney is one. Uh, it's something called carried interest. Obama has been uh, pushing against it. But um, private equity um, people are allowed to count the fees that they charge uh, as um, investment income rather than as a sort of salaried earned income. So the fees that people pay to private equity managers are charged at this very low capital gains rate. It's seen by many people as a loophole that has made a lot of uh, sort of um, Occupy Wall Street and other critics very, very angry. Um, mm. So in a sense, uh, Romney's tax returns may uh, touch off a larger debate beyond just his own uh, success or failure as a candidate. But, I mean, to throw it forward then, uh, Beth, and, you know, it's all up for grabs, isn't it, after South Carolina with uh, the, the emergence of Newt Gingrich as uh, Mr. Yeah. Romney's main challenger, and indeed the, the front run at the moment. They both, therefore, go into Florida, the next primary, with those, what, 50 delegates up for grabs, and uh, they both then have baggage, as we've discussed at length there, Mitt Romney, but, of course, Newt Gingrich and his personal life. Uh, well, N Newt Gingrich has more more baggage than you could fit on a, a truck. I mean, it's amazing, actually. Uh, certainly the, the sort of commentary at all the, the expert strategists uh, in the U.S., Republicans and otherwise, 
never really, I don't think, saw Gingrich as a, a credible candidate. And then here he is winning South Carolina, which is a state with a very good record for uh, picking the winner in terms of the Republican nomination. His baggage goes beyond the extramarital affairs, which are enough in themselves. Um, you know, he's got uh, uh, all kinds of issues with ethics violations from his days as Speaker of the House. He was actually pushed out as Speaker, which Romney is enjoying pointing out, by his own party. They they tossed him out. He was too um, too difficult to deal with. He's also got several million dollars worth of income uh, for, he won't use the word lobbying, but strategic advice, as he says, that he gave to okay. Freddie Mac, which is a big uh, uh, an entity that is reviled uh, in the Republican Party. So he's got all kinds of issues. But I think what you're seeing here is that the Republican voters, the base, really do not like Romney. They don't want him. On paper, he's the best candidate. The party establishment sees him as their best shot at beating Obama. Um, and sort of if the if the voters use their heads rather than their hearts, they, they might feel that way too. But they are angry this year. Okay. They they don't feel that Romney is is kind of channeling that. They don't see him as an authentic conservative. And Gingrich, for all the baggage, has been very, very effective at really kind of um, channeling and, and even wow. spewing forth a lot of this anger that, that the voters in the Republican base are feeling. OK, Beth, must end it there. Well, thank you very much indeed for your strategic advice on well, the uh, thank Republican you. race for the White House. There. Now, uh, next, it's the sports with Jackie, and it's just like old times again for Australia's Ricky Ponting. Plus, why there's a tiger in the desert.